Budding trees, chirping birds, migrating butterflies, all signs of spring. So are hanging canker worms. You may have noticed them in your hair or on your clothes. Wizzy Brown, an extension program specialist with Texas AgriLife Extension Service, joins us this morning to talk about them. Thanks for being with us, Wizzy. Good morning. We, uh, we had an issue with that in uh, my car within the last week. My daughter and her friend we had to pull over the side of the road after they were kind of playing by a bench and they saw worms all over the place. I assume those worms were in this family probably to some degree. Right. Well, there's a lot of caterpillars right now, but the ones that most people are seeing are the spring canker worms, which are also known as inchworms by the way that they walk. But I've seen some other ones as well. There's been some forest tent caterpillars around as well as snout butterfly caterpillars. And we're seeing more of them this year. Was the was the cold snap kind of the cause of that or why? It's not necessarily the cold snap. I mean, they're here. It's just we happen to have um, years where we have higher populations of canker worms than others. And this seems to be that year. And it also seems to be kind of patchy. I mean, everybody's seeing them, but some areas are really seeing high numbers. Yeah, we noticed that. Uh, are they serving any purpose? Is it, is it a good thing that we're seeing them around in these numbers? Well, they are defoliators, but they are also food for things like birds and lizards and different stuff like that. So they do fit into the ecosystem. And how long do they typically stick around in, in these big numbers? That, you know, you can look at that from a, a good and a bad way. They only are around for about three to four weeks. So, you know, you only have them for about a month, but we're going to have multiple generations or not multiple generations, but they stagger the way that they emerge. So I would say that within a month or so, they should all stop so we can stop walking into them when we're under the tree. <laughs> well, and that, yeah, that's pretty much how it went down in my family. But, but obviously for everyone who's kind of trying to avoid them, there might be some uh, out on the lookout for them. And I see the website here on our screen we're showing right now of Texas Insects. Do you have some uh, resources or some more information for people who want to get more into this? Well, they can always email me. So that's ebrown at ag.tmu.edu. Or they're going to be able to um, contact the entomology department at Texas A&M or our local Travis County AgriLife office. Very cool. Might make a nice uh, outdoor project for someone who wants to come out and see these worms that are out in big numbers right now. Wizzy Brown with the Texas AgriLife Extension Service. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back.